How's it going guys? Today we're going to be showing you how to route the shock cord on the Arc Placard V4 on the sides. There's two sets of them and so we have one set already complete and we'll be doing the other set in a black shock cord so you can follow along a little easier. This is so that in the event you want to replace your shock cord uh, in the field or in an administrative area, you can do so pretty easily. It really comes down to just weaving it through and making an X and putting the cord at the bottom, but we'll take you through how we like to do it. So. We'll go ahead and get started with that. The first thing we're gonna do, at least for the sake of this video, is remove the buckles. You don't have to do this, we just didn't want them clapping around uh, in the video, making noise and getting in the way. On the back, you'll see that there are these two tunnels that the shock cord will go under, and then you have a number of holes on essentially both sides. When you see it complete, it sticks out um, of the front there, creates an X, and then there's a cord lock with a knot at the bottom. So. To get started, we're gonna take our shock cord, and it does help to have a small little tool, either a dowel or a small screwdriver of the sort to kind of get in under that tunnel there just to separate that, because it's two flat layers. Opening them up makes it a little easier to get stuff through there. And we're gonna take that shock cord and pass it through and simply route it through there. And this will be our backside where that cord lock goes. So uh, if you wanna go ahead and identify it with the cord lock, you could just toss a cord lock on there right now and you're basically set there. That hole that we just passed, we are going to push our shock cord through. So it's gonna go through there and peel out. And now it is on the outer side. So from there, there is no actual uh, hole that goes through. Instead, you're gonna go through the molly right here. Just go between that molly slot and then you're gonna grab that on the inner side. So now it's coming out of your placard and this hole you see at the very top that's a double layered laminate. You can literally just push that through there like that. And now we have the start of our X there. From there, we're gonna have this go across and it's gonna punch through these holes right here all the way through, just like that. You can see that that is now tensioning the top. And now we have another tunnel to go under. For this, I find it's easiest to take our tool, go under, and really just open it up at the mouth there so our tool is sticking out a little bit, and you can then take that shock cord, push it under, and while that tunnel's still open, just push your shock cord all the way through until it pokes out right there. Pull, and now your hole is directly there at the entrance. You can kind of peel this back and then push it all the way through. It'll be a little tricky as you are going through several layers of laminate, but it'll look from the side view like that. You'll pull that through. And now you're completing your X by essentially doing what you did on the other side with it going through the molly, just like the top. And if you look at that, it's going through right there. And now we have our X. And the last step is to basically go through that hole just like you did at the top from the inner side. Um, you can kind of peel that back like that. Push through that hole. Shot cord can get a little difficult if it frays a little bit. And if you end up finding that your end is fraying a little bit and making it harder, you can take a little lighter. Just flatten it out again, just so it stays together. And push it through that hole. It also usually helps to look at the same side that you are working on. And now you're just gonna go through that final hole that will get it to the same side as your cord lock on essentially the back side. So now you can see that we are going through there. You can now slide that through as well. Now they're both together. And then you can really just pull really tight. Not that it's gonna be final, it just makes it a little easier to tie your overhand knot like that. Make sure your pigtails are about the same length. There we go. Take your cord lock, just take it all the way to there, and then you can evenly distribute the shock cord across the placard. So you can basically just pull it apart, or you can be a little bit more delicate with it and pull individual strands until it is evenly distributed across. Um, each of the holes does apply a little bit of tension to this thing as they are about the same width as the shock cord. So they're gonna apply friction to the uh, sheath of that shock cord right there. And that's pretty much it. You'll then go from there and insert your insert in there, tighten these down as necessary, depending on what caliber or setup you have in there. And that is pretty much it. So 
really, if you ever need to do this, you can basically mirror the other side on that side, do one side at a time, probably. Uh, don't just like rip them both off. And that is how you route the shock cord on the Arc Placard V4. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments down below. Email us at customerservice at shaw-concepts.com and we'll help you out. Thanks for watching.